Hello and welcome, PML fans. I am your host, Admin Joe here, and with me I have the coach of the Unova Steelers. What's going on? Hi, I'm Frederick. How y'all doing today? Alrighty, I'm doing pretty good. Um, how are you doing today? I'm good at work, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, Other than that. Glad you made some time for us. And I'm going to go ahead and open up with the first question, which will be, what made you want to join a draft league? Um, I've never done one, so it was very interesting to do. I think it would be really fun. I'm not really a competitive battler. I'm more of, let's see how it goes with the Pokemon I have, and let's do the best we can. All right. That's pretty cool. And then um, what drew you to the PML draft? Um, I remember you hit me up asking me a question about something, and I just looked into your guys' stuff, and it looked very, very interesting on that note. So I was like, why not? All right. That's that's honest and good. Um, so basically, now we're going to move on to some questions about how you think your team's going to do. So here's the question. What do you hope to accomplish with your team strategically? Win every match. Well, yeah, every, win every match, but like, that, <laughs> like strategic-wise... <laughs> Hoping to get some weather up, or um, I would honestly to be honest with you, I'm gonna take it week by week and see what my opponent is. And I understand everyone has ten Pokemon, so you can't predict every team, but you can kind of predict every not everything, but you can kind of look forward to it. That's why I'm gonna go like week by week. Okay, fair enough. And who do you think, uh, out of all the Pokemon you picked up, who do you think is your biggest threat? Um. To be honest with you, I think High Dragon is. High Dragon? Yeah. Yeah, and also my Magnazone, because I have some strats I've been thinking about with him, so. Okay. And um, are you trying to pull any Magnet Pull shenanigans with it, or? I don't know yet. I'm still looking. I'm still looking at, like, abilities, items, move sets, and stuff like that. Okay. And what makes you think uh, High Dragon is your best Pokemon on your team? Um... Other than fighting and fairy, he's pretty bulky. So those are the ones that I really, really have to worry about. Um, he can be a mixed attacker. He can be full special, full physical. They're only about 10 points up in um, each of them. So he can be he kind of bulky if he needs to be. And then you don't know if I'm going to pull with either special or physical or I can do a mix. Okay. And um, we had our analysis look over teams after the draft. And they did rank yours medium and low. Yeah. Uh, they mainly wanted to talk about your dark weakness. How do you think you can combat that? Um, I'd have to look into that more, but there's not a lot of dark types. I mean, there is, but there's not like a lot. And I'd have to look at the other teams, how many darks they have, and see what I can pull. Okay. Are you not afraid of Sucker Punch at all with your frail glass cannons? I you always are you always are but for soccer punch work you have to move first so yeah all right and then um here we go we can move on to the next question here what team do you think is going to be your biggest challenge this season uh I haven't really looked at everybody's I've looked at all of them but I haven't really analyzed every single thing but all all the teams on there look really good they look well balanced a lot of different Pokemon in there so you don't know what players are going to throw out there, so I think every team is actually good because there's only, what, eight members, right? Yeah. And we had eight members and there's a wide range of pool for Pokemon and like so we can kind of do whatever we want without people like, I want this one and I'm fighting if I didn't get this Pokemon, so I think every team is going to be good depending on how they run it. Okay. And um, everyone's been asking this question. What's up with Delibird? What's the secret? I really don't have a secret. I have a few things in my mind. It's more because the Shady Penguin. He's one of my favorite PokeTubers as his mascot, so I was like, why not pull him? Mm -hmm. And there's there's some stuff you can do with Delibird. I know his base stats aren't that good, but there's always abilities, moves, items you can use. So just because the Pokemon doesn't have a really high base stat doesn't mean he's not good. Yeah. You just have to sometimes work with that. And me throwing out me throwing that out there, you're not going to expect what I'm going to do. So it will, might throw them off a little bit, which could be an advantage in one or two matches. Okay, yeah, I, I can actually see. I've actually 
looked at making Deadly Bird a weapon, but I can never figure out a way. So hopefully it does work out for you. And um, your last pick was kind of a sleeper pick. I use for pun intended because uh, Shenotic, what made you want to pick that? Um, at the point in the draft, I honestly thought I had two more picks because you remember I just woke up. Mm-hmm. So I was I was looking for a grass and fairy type, and I was also looking for a fighting type. And that's why I asked, I'm like, is this the last pick? And I'll, I'd rather go through today having one typing, or I'd rather have a dual type on the team. So I was looking through the tiers, grass and fairy, I needed both of them for the team. And Shinotic can be kind of bulky if you run it correctly. And it's kind of a troll when it battles as well. So, like, because even when you're playing the game in the wild, they're bulky and annoying to deal with. So if you get a right moveset on there with the right ability, right stats can be very annoying to deal with. Mm, okay. And how good did it feel to draft your mascot? Uh, pretty good. I saw the snake ladder. I had third pick. That's why when I sent you the list, like I, I figured I'd get it because I was the third pick. But you never know. That's why I sent you the uh, other picks as well. Yeah. All right. And I will go ahead and end it on one last question. It's pretty okay. obscure. It's not Pokemon related. But I got asked it by Stuart, and I felt I've been asking everybody. So basically, the question is, if you had an obscure superpower, not super strength, teleportation, nothing like that, um, an obscure superpower, like, for example, mine was, I could summon my favorite foods wherever I wanted, whenever I wanted, what would you choose? Uh, that is a very weird question. <laughs> Honestly... I'll say this, to be able to play whatever movie or TV show I want at that current time, because a lot of times there's not nothing on. You have to go search for stuff. Yeah, so basically you just have your favorite shows playing all the time? Yeah, why not? All right. I guess you haven't heard of Netflix. <laughs> well, I have, but a lot of times Netflix have anything on there either, or you watch everything good that you want, you want to watch. So. Oh, yeah, I'm just messing with you. But all right, man, thank you for taking time out of your day. Yep, thank you. Anything you want to leave with the viewers? Um, it's going to be a good season. Uh, I think there are going to be a lot of good matches. And I just hope for the best. I hope we all do good and we get a lot of views and a lot of people join. Alrighty, That was Frederick of the Univa Steelers. Thank you guys for watching.